Monday, October 19th, 2020, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. There's a lot of talk about the new Bretton Woods moment. It's actually a speech by the managing director of the IMF, uh, Georgieva. Her first name is Kristalina Georgieva. Uh, I'll put a link to this announcement from the IMF uh, managing director uh, down in the description. You can listen to it. Uh, don't take my word for it. Uh, does it mean we're going to get a digital currency? Does it mean we're going to get an IMF currency or S SDR? I don't know, really. I don't know. Uh, she's talking more about the policy for the major countries, for the emerging market countries, for the countries that are even uh, worse off than emerging market countries. But I think what it will mean uh, in terms of the markets, in terms of your savings, is that we're going to see a flow away from paper assets into commodities. And why do I say that? Well, there's a couple of factors. And uh, as Tavi Costa here points out uh, on LinkedIn, uh, commodities are very undervalued in relationship to uh, GDP, uh, as you can see here, Bloomberg Commodity Index versus U.S. nominal GDP. It's at the lowest level in over uh, 60 years. And uh, what countries would benefit the most from higher commodity prices? Well, it would be the emerging market countries. It would be the countries even below the emerging market countries, those countries in Africa who... Uh, have a lot of the natural resources, and that would help their economies. Uh, Miss Georgieva points out that, uh, yes, we should have more fiscal spending. Of course, I don't agree with her. I'm not a Keynesian, but be as it may, the fiscal spending she's talking about, the debt creation is for the advanced countries. So what I think we're going to see is... Uh, commodities, hard assets start doing a lot better. I think uh, gold and silver are already pointing to that. We just need to see the other general commodities catch up. So that's how I see this. I wouldn't read too much into it in terms of, oh, they're going to bring a digital currency. Uh, I, I think that's too, uh, too much to try to analyze. Uh, we don't really know what's going to happen. But maybe it makes sense that we will have uh, the major countries around the world sitting down at a conference table trying to reorganize the currency system. Uh, I think we're going to go to a multipolar world where not just the dollar is the major reserve currency, but other currencies like the euro, uh, the Chinese yuan, and the dollar. But I think we're going to have to have something underneath that monetary system, something neutral. And of course, we know that that is gold. And that's why I think China and Russia have been buying gold because they know this is coming. So um, that's how I see it. Uh, I don't think it's an emergency. I've seen other videos talking about an emergency. I, I think things are just going to go uh, as they're going right now. They will accelerate probably a little bit. I think all that means is commodities are going to do really well. If you look at a chart of the S&P, a monthly chart, you can see that the S&P uh, is uh, at levels that are extremely overvalued, in my opinion, at least technically. Uh, yeah, some people might say, oh, uh, earnings are going to be better. S&P will be at 3600 or so. But if you look at this monthly chart, there's this huge... Uh, megaphone formation and we're right at the top of that so I'd rather be uh, weighed uh, towards commodities than the stock market to be honest so before we look at the markets uh, we've seen some data uh, come out out of China late on Sunday uh, GDP data for the third quarter expectation was 5.2 percent growth year on year uh, in the third quarter, it came out worse than expected at 4.9%, but uh, it looks like uh, the mainstream media is playing this up. 
and the market is taking it as a positive even though it, it was worse than expected so right now as i speak here it, it's just gone past nine o'clock we've got spot gold at 1908.80 so gold is up about uh, ten dollars uh, the high has been 1912 and the low 1896.75 silver is doing very well this morning silver is up two percent uh, just under 50 cents at 2460 yes we've got a lot of work to do yet for silver to become more positive and even for gold i would say the key level for silver is to get back above 2590 26 it seems far away from here but in this environment silver can move a dollar or two or even three either way even though i think the uh probability is, is that it moves higher so we've got the dow future up 111 at 28,716 up a third of a percent s p is up 0.4 of a percent at 3496 it had been as high as 3504 NASDAQ 100 future is up two thirds of a percent at 11,912. The currencies, uh, yeah, <laughs> the UK was downgraded on Friday, but uh, the pound is up this morning. That's how crazy markets are. You'd think uh, the pound would go down, but it's actually up 0.46 of a percent at 129.77. Uh, the, the euro is up 0.1 of a percent at 117. 27 maybe it's a matter of sell the rumor uh, by the fact for the pound i noticed the pound weakened uh in the middle of last week so there you go the dollar is unchanged versus the yen at 105.38 uh, the dollar keeps uh drifting lower versus the u1 the dollar now is below 670 we're at 669.30 uh, so that should be good for the U.S. in terms of uh, uh, selling stuff to China as the dollar gets weaker there. Notice that uh, when that happens, no one talks about it. But when uh, the dollar goes up, there's a lot of complaints. Not trying to defend China, just looking at the facts. Uh, WTI crude uh, is at 40.92. It's down a third of a percent. The 10-year yield is up uh, just over two basis points at 0.77. Uh, 0.8, of course, is the key resistance there in terms of the yield. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please share it far and wide. Think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet. Make sure you also hit that little notification bell uh, to be notified of all my new videos. I make a video every day and uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook and all these other platforms below. I wish you all a great day. Take care. Bye.